Hello everyone, my name is Misfortune, and we're back with some more Penumbra Overture. Uh, last time we left off with finding some um, chemicals for, supposedly for making uh, TNT, I would guess. I would hedge to assume it sounds like what it would be. And we have this thing to read now because I picked it up last time like a dumbass. Now this, okay. How do I open that menu? Okay. <laughs> um, this is what we're trying to see on. No, it's not this one. This one, okay. 15th of August. Bleh. 15th of August, 1945. Commander Bunker. Command Bunker. <laughs> Emergency Airstrip Sulu. Weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency uh, drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I voted maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshops at arm uh, slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I can take par partial responsibility for this in that I allow them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. I'm sure that's where we they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up the manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key in my purse at all times. And this to say, both men have been disciplined, and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here. But the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected. Sometimes, I feel as if the war could end. We might not even hear about it here. The, 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 out, about it here, here. I can't even speak, okay? Fucking, I forgot to speak. Supplies for requisition order. Dynamite for excavation process. Purposes seven bayonets. That's a lot of bayonets. Not necessarily in my opinion, but I previous procedure states that we should have a full complement. One industrial ice pick for removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch. One pair of reading glasses, category seven C. In order for myself, my glasses are in rather poor state of repair and could do with replacing. Reconditioning of mine, of the mine, can then progress. The structure is being fortified from potential palm damage and excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth, and discovered by one of work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made, may, uh, may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of the light which constantly emanates, emanates from it. Chief... something something... M major. <laughs> I don't know what that even means. See, it's talking about this thing, obviously. It's that too. And here, there's another thing. Big Book of Explosives, 1943 edition. Chapter 1. Free Black Match Fuse. Or is it 1.3 Black Match Fuse? Probably. The Black Match Fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. Be warned, the chemicals concerned will stay in clothing and as always do concern its advice. Materials required. String, preferably cotton, black gunpowder, and backstring. I have backstring. The string should have co should be coated with a thin, thin layer of backstring, backstring which acts as an uh, adhesive. The string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes before use. Chapter 2.1 Dynamite Invented by Alfred Nobel in 1866, dynamite is commonly used in construction, mining and demolition. It has proved for s too s far safer to handle than alternatives such as pure nitroglycerin, provided that is, it has been pr properly stored. Over time, the explosive component of dynamite supposedly made safe by the presence of the diatomaceous earth has a t tendency to weep making an old box of the explosive liable to de detonate in contact. Materials required. One part diatomaceous diatomaceous or whatever the fuck. Three parts nitroglycerin. Small amount of sodium carbonate. Then simply form into short sticks and wrapping paper. Chapter 2.3 Trinitrotoline TNT. Okay. TNT was first discovered in 1863 by a German chemist Joseph Wilbrand. 
but it took some years before it yielded its true potential. This was because of the difficulty of making it explode in the lesser detonation in compared to that dynamite. The di main advantage was discovered by the German Navy, who employed TNT's relatively explosive stability in order to cause massive damage to British warships, which torpedoes would be could be de detonated inside a ship's armor rather than exploding on contact as did, as did other shells. Chapter 2.6 Armstrong's Mixtures Mixture Armstrong's mixture is included in this book as more of a point of interest than as a viable chemical mix. The formula exists as somewhat of a legend in modern pyrotechnics, referenced by those knowledgeable enough to stay away from it as death mix. It's incredibly volatile, making it to, its incredible volatility make it unsuitable for almost all potential applications. Gels required red, phosphorus, and barium. This mixture can be carefully and slowly mixed to minimize risk to the chemist. Sulfur can substitute for some or all of the barium to slightly decrease sensitivity. Alright, so what the fuck are the materials I need? <laughs> Only have Baxter. 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 <laughs> yeah, at the moment, so I need to find the other ingredients. I'm guessing are gonna be sat uh, scattered in other rooms. We'll see where they are. I also turned my audio back down to 10% because it actually turned out that 20% was a bit too much. And 15% would be optimal. I heard a dog. It must, it must have been through the wall then. Is that a dog? Or is that just a big rock? I can't tell. Anyway, moving on. Let's see where what other rooms are waiting for us. The fuck was that? So hide here. I'll hide here. Oh, he's right next to me. Good decision making right there. Uh, wow, my voice is really drying out quite fast. Or throat, rather. My voice doesn't dry out. It's not. A <laughs> That's not how that works. Let's put the I'm guessing the dog is gone. Can't open that. Shit. Uh, where is he? I can't tell. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? This way? This way? Okay, we're fine for now. Go this way, go this way, go this way. <laughs> Oof. I am now safe. Jesus, it's stressful. Wait, this is... I'm just going back now. I'm guessing I need to get something down there. It sounds like he's inside of the fucking wall. It's so, so distracting. Storage room, okay. That's what it was. Okay, let's go back in here and try to bring one of those uh, flower bags or whatever. I tried to click E to enter the door. I should probably switch it to E. Though E is all used for tilting. So I don't know if I want to do that. Alright, where are the bags? Can I take one of you? I cannot. How the fuck am I supposed to block the thing then? Am I not supposed to? I guess not. Oh, he's actually down here then. Okay, this is where I got the ladder. Well, I love if you can uh, jump while uh, crouched in this game. So I can just kind of speedrun. This team could blister flesh and bone in an instant. I know, I've seen it happen. Day 71. Damn, that's far into the future. My early assumptions on the benign na nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I'm concerned that there may have been a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over the period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no sources of light. 
I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard a human voices outside. Spiders are so tasty. <laughs> well, I guess I can't fault him on that. If I were the side of the pieces, I would say it looks like eggshells. So yes, they are indeed eggshells. <laughs> but now I'm fucked, because how the fuck am I supposed to get through here without taking damage from steam? Oh, I did it. Okay, I got through there. Stressful. Finally, this must be a, have been all that's left of the basement storage. That lock looks rather worse for wear. AKA, I can break it with my fucking hammer. Hehe. <laughs> glow stick. No, that's fluid lighter gas. It's probably something for explosives. Oh, chest. Oh, batteries, what the hell? Yeah, these tests are quite common. Oh, I can actually slow this. There we go. Do I have much health to have? Oh, I have full health. What in the world? That's weird. Is there something behind these things? No? Why can I grab this? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Hospital Grey. Is that all in here? If, assuming that I actually know I need gunpowder and string, I'm still missing two of, of the fucking things I need. So where am I supposed to get them? Excellent question right there. Speedrun strats. <laughs> Spam spacebar while crouched. Well, then that fucking happened. I uh, didn't appreciate it, but it did happen. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, poor guy. This means he will probably have broken open the wall. For sure. I, I think someone's been dragging through here. I've never seen this much blood before. I That was my best chance to get some answers. Well, it's still down here. That's also open now. Old key. Day 200, Jesus. It's been some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spy relating to, relation to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the past eight months. Pa partly due to my enforced retreat from their basement territory, not too long ago, their behavior became overly aggressive, and so I ha overtly aggressive, and so I have attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair, and secured myself within one of the smaller rooms above it, the only one with an apparent appar operational lock door lock. Now the reason is that I've been recovering from a minor operation, which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of, or anest of anesthetic. Even if I did have any anesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less intel than intelligent than, than diligent in my work, so anesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be become, becoming ill and rusty, I still trust my penknife to do the job just as well. The procedure itself was elementary enough. A simple amputation of a non-vital organ, I began to notice a thick glue-like substance forming on the tongue, and I was forced to accept that it had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. Day 300, another century of days comes and come and goes. It seems like so long since I escaped here. At some stage since my last entry, I attempted to return from whence I came. That from which I originally was fleeing seems a fate far worse than the one I have now faced. However, in the time since I arrived from the large mine system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking any further progress. I was forced to return and accept whatever end life has in store for me. I still have my aggressive little friend scratching on the door to myself. Pen. What are these markings? Well, at least this one's a little more positive, although I'd question its motivation. Can I take this? Because it's like there's an arrow pointing to it and shit. But it has no nothing to wait. This Oh. Looks like it's been carved into wood with a knife. Well, I could take that much. Could you say what it was? That would be cool. Anyway. The guy, I pl the guy I play is so useless, it's not even funny. He never tells me any useful information. That's literally a tongue. Cool. Hardest spider I've ever seen. With its gut cards open. Oh, there's a drawer here. I didn't even see that. It had nothing in it. That was useless. Alright. Uh, 
That reminds me though, these are doors and I should check them. All of them. They all have nothing in them. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Is there anything down here? No? Wait, what is this? Years and years of reports, logs, and files just left here to gather dust. There's probably a center of life and death right there at my feet. I moved them with the fucking chair, okay. Makes sense. Was there nothing else down here? No chemical, no nothing, no string. Unless I could take drink from the spider. That sound is annoying. I can't take it from the spider, so what am I supposed to do? Supposed to kill the spiders to get string? Interesting. Oh well, there's nothing else in here, so I guess we're going to where the. wherever the fuck it was went. Beef jerky and beef jerky. Could you give me like something I actually need, please? Jesus. Also, it's not very big if it can get through there. That's interesting. It's down here. Nothing. Anyway, so this place was useless. This hole isn't large enough for a man. Not that I'd go anywhere near it. Even if it was, what buried it at this tunnel? Something did. Something you don't want to fucking fuck around with. At all. I move this up over the hole again so the fucking guy doesn't attack me or some shit. I need to go around there anyway, so whatever. Wait, you can use this at any time? I never get used to that. Same. But I think that's the save, right? Yeah, that saves. So, those things save your game. And that's why I'm like, oh, there's probably an object somewhere to save my game, because those do. Well, this is gonna suck. Let's see if this works. Stop. Do we really have to hide here again? Come on now. This this pattern I don't like because I always have to do this every time. Well, now it's completely silent, so I guess it's not there. Fuck! Don't don't you dare, doggy dog. Behind this rock, real quick. Okay, must be gone now. He's indeed gone. Just have to get here again and wait for him to go past me. Or her, I can't tell. Don't know how to identify the gender of a dog. <laughs> I should have gotten like Pepsi or something. Water is not really working that well. Or tea. Should have gotten some tea. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's go this way, and not die. I'm sure the tea is for this door, right? Yeah. Let's close that in case. This is going to do. Stay. Okay. Alright, we're in a new area now. With probably even more dogs. I'll block the door with something except the only, only in the door. Fuck. Shit. Uh, I might be screwed here because I didn't block the door. He's just gonna go through the fucking door. anything that means it so it won't be in the other area and I can just walk through there. No problems. It's really this is not an actual issue. 
Where is he going? Where is he going and what is he doing? Let's see him. Is he gonna move out again or is this gonna stay there? And like roam and be a dick? Fuck, I should have broke the door. I didn't like have enough time though, so I just didn't do it. I did to run back in the area there and then go back here and block the door again. Would you please like get out of here? It'd be helpful to me. Just need for you for him to turn back around again. I know he's going that way. There's some bags of crumbling cement. What is this guy's movement, dude? I hate this dog. Oh. It's in this way again. He's gonna leave the area? No, what is he doing? This roaming is so bad, like, it just stays everywhere I want to go. Doesn't help me. At all. He's not looking at me, so I guess I'm gonna just go this way. Throw this bottle somewhere? Like, back through the door? That'd be nice. Let's go this way. Great resting iron wheels. Remnants of a past age of industry. Indeed. Indeed. It'll be far less stressful to stream because I'm not like completely immersed usually on streams. Well, I go this way then. I hope he doesn't see me. Probably won't. Okay, we're fine. Wait, what's back here? If anything at all. It's a bad fucking idea. <laughs> okay, he didn't he didn't hear it, so it's fine. All the cartwheels and some older scrap. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice, but you know, whatever. Oh, okay. So this is what I'm guessing we need the explosives for. I love my workshop. It is too great a hunting ground to let others for gorge their faces. One cannot help but four those without such a delicate mousy morsels in which to munch for red eight ravenously of their fresh today and shall continuously do so. This is possible thanks solely to the button pad I installed in the door. And yet Red's mind is working somewhat backwards today. Oh, okay, so it's uh, it's eight four one two. Eight four one two. Good to know. The shafts caved in here. Could have happened years ago. I shouldn't be risking my life like this. The whole facility could come down around me. Still, if I want to press on, I'll have to clear this construction somehow. There must be something left here I could use. Maybe there's still some industrial explosive lying around. Let's hope there is. Okay, I just need to find a... Uh, padlock. No, numlock. Number pad. Number pad! Would it matter if I stood up? As long as I'm not in this area. These are things I'm not gonna test, but I'm curious about. Nothing? Okay. Moving on. Uh, what's over here? What's over here? Not a sightline for him to me. There's the padlock. Numpad. I can't even say it, dude. I can't even say it, dude. So it's 8412. Yay. What's in here, huh? Brilliant. One step closer to setting off those explosives without losing any, uh, losing any vital body parts. What did I just get? String, okay. So we have we have the back string and the string. Now we're just missing uh, some gunpowder. Well, this seems like something that, somewhere I don't want to be. <laughs> uh, let me go here first. Oh, there's a save here. I'll wait to, uh, with saving until I actually 
I'm done with this place. That scared me a bit. <laughs> Could this be a piece of uh, ice reflecting light, or most likely, my imagination? But something's definitely catching my eye under those rocks. It looks like this hole is at least two, three feet below the surface. The light's being reflected through all that ice. He said there was something underneath the rocks. He was like, whoa, shiny. Ooh, pickaxe. Yeah, boy. That's good to have in this place in general. <laughs> all these things you that we need to be a successful as a carpenter. Carpenter. Cowpenter. Can I turn this? Probably is useless. Can I turn this? No. Looks ancient. It's so old I don't even know what it would be even be used for. My shovels. Alright, let's save. Uh, must be tied into what's going on here. If I keep experimenting, I might discover something useful. Or have a heart attack. I mean, bring it on. <laughs> if it gets me somewhere, I don't I guess I don't really care. A long hallway seems like a bad place to be. This seems like a dog be able to get through here. Oh, this is awful. Yeah, that's definitely something bad. Uh, so is this. An electric fence, and it's been put up recently? I better find a way to get over. Indeed. This place is in a serious state. Did that really come off through its repair or is it ripped off? Probably ripped off. They're ripped off, considering this is the type of game this is. Do I just hear other footsteps? Maybe. God damn it, wood. Ugh, just looking at this web just makes my skin crawl. What does it? You can also move back, you can also strafe to move stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's nothing here. So, way to get over. Probably need a barrel or something. Probably brought the one that was over here. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Come on. Mm, that's too heavy. This is also closed off, closed off, so I don't know what I was thinking there. But whatever. This box is good enough? Probably not, but maybe. That won't work. That's not enough. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can bring with me. Like all the way over here. Like a rock or something? Well, there's another box, so probably that might work. I'm sure I'm supposed to do this now and not later. That works. The music is not making me feel good. Oh. Heh. <laughs> this loose battery is powering the fence. Can't be that long since it was all set up. Explosives. Ah, this is more like it. Indeed it is. If it says something looks very weak and old, you're probably supposed to bash it in with something. Uh, can I use this? No, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> can I use the pickaxe? Yes, I can. <laughs> Alright. 
Wait. Perfect gunpowder kick. There's only one small hole at the top, though. Might be enough to reach in. Can I push it? Because it didn't want to let me interact with it. Dynamite. Hell yeah. Painkillers. Heck yeah. Are these actual bombs? <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to use the ice pick again? I mean, the pickaxe. Yes, I am. Dragon powder, that's what I need. Okay, now I just have to dip this in this. And then put this here and... Uh, <laughs> we have a fuse and we have explosives. Let's blow the fuck up. Actually, there's, my, there's actually another path to go, so we'll go there first. But that's what we're gonna end up doing anyway. Oh, and I turned off the batteries, didn't matter. I'm like, oh shit, I just walked on the fence. Doesn't matter. And shit, only 30 minutes. This this uh, time goes by fast when you're stressed as fuck. But yeah, this is the end of episode 2 of my number of Black Overture playthrough. I was about to say Black Overture, but that was a mix of two games. Anyway, uh, this, 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 is, this is going well so far. I'm enjoying this game, uh, like I expected to do, to be honest. But, um, I'm not really a horror game type guy. I've never really played that many horror games. The only thing a game called a horror game that I've played there's like Five Nights and Freddy's, but I, that's not really, you know, it's Screamers, and that's about it. And then like Dark Souls is kind of creepy, but that's about it. I've never really played an actual full fresh horror game, so I'm excited to do this playthrough in the first place. Even if I do shit my pants. <laughs> so, uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing. Uh, Give me that support, because I vastly appreciate it. Until next time, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.